I used to work with non-profits and your research has really made me reflect on using technology with intention and awareness. Can you share an example of a company that has been successful and efficient while staying rooted in their ethics? Adidas um, has been creating digital academies to train its employees and upskill them and reskill them and create new career paths. What, what is more uncommon is that companies have a systemic understanding of the impact that the implementation of technology has on its extended ecosystem. Many students are curious about your upcoming course, Thinking Acting AI. What inspired it and what kind of mindset or skill set do you hope that students walk away with? The title plays on the double meaning, Thinking Acting AI, AI being the object of the study, as supposedly a technology that can think by itself, that can, through some induction, obtain information, learn from data, and then a technology that has some agentic properties that can act on itself. So the first thing that I expect the students to gain is a mindset of experimentation with digital technologies and then competency, thinking about and analyzing the value that artificial intelligence creates, the ability to experiment with it quite confidently and then augment themselves. What is it about AI that is leading to create lasting transformation for society as we know it? Well, uh, artificial intelligence, although it has been with us, for many decades since the 1950s, we are observing now that it can create a lot of value. And that is because it's a general purpose technology like electricity. What we are scaling is cognitive power. We are democratizing access to expertise and the ability for anyone to become an innovator. Professor, you mentioned entrepreneurial self-efficacies in your piece about sustaining innovation with Professor Shankar Narayanan in the Ivy Business Journal. Could you share a book you feel is a must read for Babs and grads to build these entrepreneurial self-efficacies? Carol Dwight's book on mindset. So I think that's uh, a good introduction to understanding how to grow yourself, your personal development towards accomplishing task with technology. But I would also say that this is not something you can get from a book. Um, to be able to gain self-efficacy, what you should do is play with technology, experiment with technology, and try to find a way in which you feel safe.